So let's recap. Last year, Central Park Rangers was formed and we started off in the USL League 2. We brought in the likes of Ricardo Farino, Carl McTurk, Nick Bibbs and the main man, Eamon Zeed, up front with 32 in 35 matches. And mainly down to his goal scoring, Central Park Rangers finished the season in 4th position, qualifying for the playoffs. Now the playoffs didn't quite go to plan. After a penalty shootout win against Tuxler, we lost on penalties to St. Louis and remained in the USL League 2 for this coming season. So things needed to change. While Eamon Zeed was still an absolute superstar, we need to bring in some fresh blood up front and for a fee of 1.4 thousand chris brady was brought in from kuras and narati that's the name pronunciations aren't good in this series but 16 and 20 not too bad although currently as we continue he is injured on the right hand side we brought in sam smith no not the singer but i tell you what he sings a sweet tune with that right foot of his and at the back john thompson continues to be the main man in the uh, the left back spot and with the january edition of freddy Adu. Do do push pan push. You get you get the picture. We brought in Freddie Adu. Things can only go up for us as we currently sit in third position in the USL League Two with another chance at the playoffs or maybe even automatics. All will depend on how we do today. So let's get ready for the episode by running the intro. Then, gang, hello there and welcome back. It's me, Dr. Benji FM. Here we are then, back at Central Park Rangers. Happy New Year if you missed yesterday's update video. And uh, let's see then how we can continue this series. Uh, we're 7th of March now, which actually is, is Ellie's birthday, my fiance. That's right. Uh, so let's see how we do. Chris Brady's still out injured, which isn't ideal. And uh, goals have been drying up a little bit. I say all of that, actually. Let's take a look at our recent results. Uh, let's go to maybe the current season, man. That would be a good start. Recently, 4 0 win, but you can see results since last time have not been. All too good. Defeats in there as well as a few wins. Um, but it does mean that we're not in those automatic spots. And third position is where we find ourselves right now. Which isn't too bad. But of course we want to try and go up automatically. After the pain of the playoffs last season. So we'll see if we can do just that then. Hopefully Freddie Adu can be the man to uh, to make that happen. He's been suffering with a bit of an injury recently. So we'll have to see whether he features today. He might have to come off the bench actually the more we look at this. So Matt Thomas is going to come in and start instead of him. Uh, team wise then. Let's try and refresh ourselves. Uh, it's been a few days since we did one of these episodes. Freddie will be in goal. Sandoval will replace uh, McTurk at right back. He's been a far more consistent figure for me this season. Scarlett, Samayo and Thompson they are there as well. Corosio, our young uh, central midfielder or defensive midfielder, continues his place in the defensive midfield spot. In midfield, uh, Mature's back, Mature Cheddar and Brian Bement, double Bs is there too. Thomas on the left, Smith on the right and Pacheco uh, is going to start for us through the middle now with David Pacheco. Uh, has played 11 times for us, only one goal for us this season, but with injuries elsewhere, it's sort of forced upon him to play in that striking role. Perry's on the bench as well, so he could play. Zaid's injured, Brady's injured, so we're going with Pacheco for this one, as he suits the role the most. But uh, you can see there from his average rating, 6.52, not the best. Uh, so then two tough games, Yel Malkin and Pittsburgh to come, and you can see where I've picked these two games. They're the two teams that are above us in the league table, so I don't think they're going to be all that easy. Let's see how we get on. You can see there then, uh, Colado Forbes has been the star man in the uh, division this season, and he plays to Pittsburgh, so we'll face him later on. Let's see how we do then. First game, Yael Malkin coming up. It's nice to get back in the rhythm of making videos, viewers. It's been a little while. If you're excited the series is back, do drop a like on it. Let's aim for a thousand likes. And uh, yeah, this video, these videos will be out for the next few days uh, consistently. So look forward to it. We are back. All right, then. There was a lot of heartbreak last season. You can see if you're well, you'll maybe look at it again in the league table there look, on the left hand side. 64, 64, 64, Zoo Lane. Loads of teams on 64 points as they go close for the first shot of the game. So we know now that if we don't get into these automatics, that the playoff fight is going to be quite something as Pacheco picks it up. These highlights are a little quick for me. Smith finds his way through. Great save from Gomez, but these highlights are too fast. We're very much a middling, as far as the top half goes, but we feel like a bit of a middling side, really. We've got 51 goals, 33 against, not the best on either side. There's an, in, an early injury to Smith. Not ideal. As, as highlighted before, our best player, probably, and uh, now misses out. Segbus is going to come in, of course. We know about Segbus. Played with him last year. Very competent. Pacey, got a decent crossing ability. He comes in to replace him. Alright, Sandoval with a ball. Okay, are we giving possession back to them? Because that was bizarre. Surely the balls will come back on the pitch there. I mean, the rules aren't being followed at all. Mayhem down here, viewers. Mayhem. That injury to Sam Smith. We've already got Brady out up front. Chris Brady, that's an injury that's cost us quite a lot of points, I feel, uh, this season. And now with Sam Smith out as well, it's problematic. The home side for this one, though, but at half time, a very boring affair, as uh, basically nothing's happened. Not many goals in the division overall, actually. And uh, we're, we're contributing to that. 
I'm going to say you're not doing too badly because remember they are top, they are above us in the league. They're up there with the top boys. So um, I mean, we'll passionately say there's a lot more to come from you. I believe you've got what it takes. Give him a bit of a G up here, not that sort of G up. Obviously, I mean a a, a boost. Yeah, that's right. All right, Scarlet Sonic. Carasio has been found as well. And uh, I mean, this is the highlight. We're not long into the second half as that ball forward is well, it's. It went forward. That's all we can say for it. As Rodriguez is in on goal. Now a chance for them. Frino with a good save. That's their second shot of the game so far. We've been dominating in terms of shots, but four long ones, not ideal. Playing on this sort of cautious counter-attacking style, we'll, we'll change it onto balanced, see if that makes us a little bit more expansive in forward areas as Pacheco on that left-hand side. Looks to beat his man, but he's ushered out of it. New year, new me. That's what I call just today's update video. Um... I don't like the phrase new year, new me, because very rarely will it be a completely new you. And it shouldn't be. You're unique. Remember that, everyone. See? I'm I'm, I'm a self-motivator here on Dr. Benji FM. I didn't, I didn't say you were uniquely good. I'm not a motivator at all. That's that's the reverse of motivation. Just be the best version of you. That's all I can ask for this coming year. It's Segbers. He's going to try to be the best version of him. Ball played in. Pacheco's there. Ah, no. We've not scored. I really want to go up this year, though. It's important. The Sameo with a free kick. Oh, and that's going to be the ticket, I think. Nicolas Sameo, fifth goal of the season from centre-back most of which seem to be set pieces but we'll take it it'll put us into second position and look how tight it is now three teams on 66 points one on 65 and that wall behind the goal is bizarrely constructed that that police officer over there making sure the car parking is in order i've got a lot of time for him we've got about half an hour to go uh, mature cheddar um is struggling with the, uh, with a bit of an injury there's not too many players we could bring on though in his place that's a bit of an issue thomas is on a book in as well on the left hand side i'm going to get freddie Adu into the mix i think a bit of star power in the second half might be the ticket we'll keep matured out there just for now uh injury wise what's he struggling with groin injury that's not good i don't know who to bring on in his place though maybe mcturk in the center freddie Adu freddie Adu's at the post what want to do freddie Adu. Do, do. He's now actually officially injured. Carl McTurk's going to come on. I think that's the best option. If you just make him a central midfielder that plays sort of a defensive duty, that's probably going to suit him best as a fullback. And we know that his crossing and whatnot isn't too bad. So maybe his passing as a result won't be too shabby either. Was that ball into Pacheco from Thompson was delicious. Pacheco goes for goal and cannons it off the woodwork. We go close again. So far, viewers, we're actually playing quite well. I don't know if that's been evident to anyone else but me. But as uh, they put a ball into the centre, goes all the way across. And Freddie Adu now, number 99. Let's see because he's like the flake in an ice cream viewers you know he, he's, he finishes off what's already quite good as Pacheco bangs it home it's all about the, the Freddie Adu ball forward for me but Pacheco gets it 2-0 to the good and Yel Malkin dropped from second to fifth in one game you can see here look Freddie Adu as I say the flake in the 99 now 99 is already very good but when you put the flake in it that's when it truly becomes fantastic and Freddie Adu is that flake I, I, this is a bizarre analogy when I did it the other day I thought yeah that sounds good That's like that. it, it, it works but it, I'm not sure it does alright so far so good though have made all three changes as there's about six minutes to go including the added time will there be one more goal for central park rangers or will there be a chance for them to come back and, and a bit of late revival let's hope not as freddie adu finds pacheco as uh freddie adu gets it back can he get the ball across come on freddie do something magical thompson Gets it on this left-hand side. What a combination that is now. Thompson and Adu out on the left as McTurk gets involved in the centre. Pacheco loses out. Oh, no, heavens above. Oh, great defending, to be fair. We stopped that before it started, but they're forward again here. Rodriguez on that right-hand side. They've got a man over at the back as well. They find him, and they've scored. And with five minutes of added time now, oh, dear. We're going to go defensive for the final few minutes and see if we can just hold on to this. I think that's the best option for us. Gallardo got the goal for them. As uh, It looks as if time's going to be up. Freddie Odu puts a corner in in the latter stages. And there we go. The final whistle goes at the Great Lawn. And 2-1 uh, winners. Lovely stuff. And that moves us into the next game now against Pittsburgh in high spirits, viewers. That is good. That's actually really good. All right. The Pittsburgh Riverhounds coming up. And uh, we'll see them in about a week's time. Did they win their game? They, they didn't play. All right, Sam Smith then is out for three to four weeks. We'll leave that to the physio. And Matured's out for five to six days. Not ideal at all. So we'll have to see Matured. He might be back for the next one. But you see now, viewers, the injuries are piling up. Four players there. So he Matured, Brady and Smith. All that would start ordinarily for others. It'd definitely be in consideration for starting place. Not great news. Also, people are wondering about Regen Day. I did mention it recently. Uh, Regen Day happens in the summer. I think it's around June, July time. So, uh, yeah, I'll obviously update you that when we get to the summer. Uh, obviously, in England, it's more sort of late February, early March time, but it's, it's not with this. And of course, uh, if you missed my update video yesterday, the uh, database for this series will be out this weekend. So keep your eyes peeled. That is a horrible phrase, isn't it? I would hate if somebody peeled my eyes. I've never liked it as a phrase. I'm coming out and saying it right now. Are there any other phrases generally I don't like? Hmm, probably. 
When Ellie says, can you put the bin out? I know that's going to be an ordeal. So I try and avoid that at all costs as well. All right, looks from this that Matured's going to be back for it. Chris Brady's the one I want back, though. Three weeks still for him. Not ideal. Actually, it's between 12 days and three weeks, which makes me believe, viewers, they don't know when he's back. They've got no idea. Okay, viewers, luckily for us, we do have quite a lot of depth in central midfield, so we can easily uh, amend that and bring Danny into the centre. We've also got Ronaldo Vieira, who can play it as well. Freddie Adu, though, is going to start from the off uh, in, in place of Thomas. He had quite a good impact when he came on last game, so he's going to play again. That front four, though, Brian Bement, Segbis, Freddie Adu and Pacheco need to up their game a little bit. You can see from the average ratings, they're not performing all too well, and until we've got some of our main boys back, they're going to have to step up in their place then. Now, the team then will remain the same at the back. The back five will remain exactly the same, as will Calicio just in front of them, Bement and Danny now in the centre. Segbis on the right, of course, who came on, as did Freddie Adu. And Pacheco, who got himself a couple of goals, uh, starts off front. Or just, was it a single goal or a couple of goals? He definitely scored. Oh, yes, yeah, who scored a free kick. Yes, it's all coming back to me. I'm old age, viewers, old age. Uh, I'll be 30 next year, which sounds bad, but it is only January. So, 30. I might just I might just stay 28 now. I'm quite happy with 28. 28, I think, in a prime. Back in the day, that was the peak for a footballer. 28 years of age, you're in your prime. So I might just, don't, don't wish me, I've had no, I'm have finished my birthdays. No, no more birthdays needed. All right, then, here we go. They're in the yellow. They look a little bit like Burton Albion, I would say. And uh, we look like Central Park Rangers. Here we go. Pacheco, first chance of the game. Well, he lost it and got it back. His poor touch allowed him an opportunity. And uh, Lindin goal makes the save. Remains nil nil. Early stages here, but we look good. We look like we're playing on the front foot, which for a team that already starts in cautious, it's a bit surprising. What can Freddie Adu do? Well, he's being fouled, and now Sameo surely will step up, and now Freddie Adu's gone, no, 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 I'm Freddie Adu. So he's going to have a go at this, Freddie Adu. Two minutes in. Oh, he's smashed against the wall. Second chance for Freddie, maybe. Goes out wide to Pacheco. A chance for us? No, he's offside. What, are they? what an extravagant piece of play that was, viewers. Were you gripped as much as me? I know, I feel cheated, as they've got a chance now. Brett with a free kick. Freddie, you know, with a good save. They're not over yet, though. Scarlet gets it away. Good stuff, good defence from us of course nick bibbs is on the bench if we need to change things up a little bit by which i mean need to concede dramatically late on brian bement plays a through ball to nobody all right a chance for them maybe then it starts with their goalkeeper the ball's launched forward calvert brings it down over pittsburgh top of the league so this shouldn't be easy there's forbes the main man for them in the center lindley now back to forbes and uh, out to this left hand side lee plays it into the center brett's there shoots just wide their heads just wide i assume and a very even game so far, viewers. Corner, Danny plays it in to the back post. Brian Bement's there and Brian gets the goal. You love to see it. Scored loads of goals for me last season. Only three so far this year. And Danny, who didn't start the last game, comes in with a dramatically beautiful corner. Dramatically beautiful corner. Plays it in and the fans behind go wild. That placement's been there for three weeks. Lovely stuff. I love to see it. And uh, Brian gives us the 1-0 lead then. And this then, viewers, won't send us top of the table. But you can already see ourselves, Richmond and Pittsburgh, will all be on, th on 69 points. It's getting tight at the top. The amount of drama come the end of the year is going to be painful to watch. Is uh, Thompson now? We've got to try and keep this lead now. We're the home side uh, in, in a big in a big match at the top of the league. Who knew that, that would be so difficult? As Pacheco finds his way through to make it two 0 Oh, and he does! Pacheco's getting the getting the goals as well. Two 0 Central Park Rangers just before half time. And goal difference, I think potentially, is putting us at the top of this league. Brian Bement scored the first and assists the second. Lovely through ball over the top from him. The bounce catches the defence out. Pacheco's on it and a great finish down to the keeper's left-hand side and Central Park Rangers take a 2-0 lead. You love to see it, viewers. You absolutely love to see it. It's, it's not just a good performance, viewers. It's a nice time. That's that's important to me. It's like a picnic, you know? Like You can have a nice picnic. You can think the sandwiches are good. But if the company's not there, it's not as good. We've got the company and the sandwiches here. I don't know either. Sometimes these videos just go off the rails, don't they? And I just allow it. I'm, not, I'm doing nothing to prevent it. Guess who's coming to see me soon? Uh, Chris Proud. Proudy. I drew a picture of him when we did a quiz recently. Uh, it just says, I can't believe this in the little box. It says, I can't believe this. That, for those that know Chris Proud, that's that's accurate. If you don't know Chris Proud, who do you think it looks like? I mean, there's answers on a postcard for that one. As they've gone forward, Dover's put it in. Brett's headed home. And I feel like I... They've seen me on the sideline there. They've thought, he's not taking this seriously. Um, and they've been distracted themselves by me, showing off pictures that I've drawn with biro pens. And it's 2-1. <sighs> I do sometimes wonder if I should be a YouTuber. It's just tangent after tangent, isn't it? It's just nonsense. Ball launched forward. Pacheco could get this. Oh, Farino to Pacheco. And just like that, 3-1. Five, five minutes gone. Five, five minutes gone. No one's ever said it like that before. 
55 minutes gone, viewers. The ball is launched forward. The defence caught out once again. Route 1 football from Central Park Rangers. And Pacheco finds the net. I love to see it. I love to see it. 20 minutes to go. We've got to start thinking about whether we want to make a change. Freddie Adu's on that booking. He's not played terrifically well so far in the game, but we do have a two-goal advantage, which means we can maybe rest a couple of players if we choose to. Lee, though, on that left-hand side, trying to take away some of that advantage. Just Brett, again. He's had a few of those, and he's missed again. All right, Matt Thomas is going to come on that left-hand side, I think. Uh, elsewhere, change needed. Brian's going to come off. Ronaldo Vieira is going to come on. A few people wondering if this is the Ronaldo Vieira from Leeds. It's not. We'll continue. But it is weird that they have the same names. I will agree with you on that. All right, we're going to go defensive. We did it last game to see this game out, and it worked quite well. So we're doing it again. And you've got to say, viewers, a great couple of games back-to-back. -back. In recent episodes, we've been struggling, I feel like. But today, no, no, no. Farino comes in claims as well. And uh, there we are then. Central Park Rangers are going to win this. It looks like at least 3-1. I mean, I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to be a liar here, viewers, but we may well get a fourth. There's about a minute left to go, and Sandoval chips it into the centre. Thomas heads home. Lovely stuff from Matt Thomas. This ninth goal of the season. Um, Sandoval with the ball in from the right hand side, and four one. Sorry, I, I do apologise for the the fib I told before this. Sandoval with a lovely delivery, and Matt Thomas just gets there ahead of his man, and a flying header across goal. Lind can't keep it out, and Pittsburgh, who before today, viewers, were top of the table, have been torn apart. We're now going to see if it was offside or not. It wasn't good. I mean, there's a late free kick as well. Surely not. I mean, we go close once again. Vieira this time having a go. And there we go, the viewers. Central Park Rangers for Pittsburgh. Uh, they've got a, they've got a second part to the name that escapes me. Uh, one quite look when you look at that, fifteen shots for them, twenty to us. We were clinical today though, and that's what we've been lacking uh, in in a recent few episodes. So it's nice to see that we are now back on top of the tree. And can we stay there and get this automatic promotion? That is the question. The River Hounds. That's right, Alex. the River Hounds, of course. Okay, we've seen played Bethlehem in a few weeks' time, uh, but that will be the final couple of fixtures of the season so I'll play it by you we'll see how we go uh, before tomorrow and if there's any important episodes that seem to come up or, or important episodes that can make see us promoted or secure some playoff positions then you'll be the first to know uh, if not then we might all, we might get all the way to Bethlehem if it's still very tight then I'll uh, we'll come to that one and the final two games of the season of course if you enjoyed today's episode as I mentioned before let's aim for a thousand likes and I'll see you again tomorrow for more we love with care we look to mention until next time goodbye 5pm 5pm PM be ready for it I've confused you now I don't know if you'll be here Merry Christmas. Too late.